What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. And welcome to my backyard. And this wall is full of beans right here. And I'm expecting this wall as well, but the fence is going to have all bunch of beans climbing all over it. So today I want to share with you guys two tips to get double your bean in production. First here on this fence, we have all kinds of beans climbing up the trellis on the fence right here. And this side get like full sun on most of the day. But on this side, we only get like partial sun, like in the morning sun, and that's a few hours and that's pretty much it. But the beans are starting to climb up as well. And this side, I pretty much um, direct sold this, so it took a little bit longer to take off. So if you guys are like me, who like to grow pole beans and want to double your beans production in a small space, is that what you want to do is find the bean vine, right? That's keep going up, up to your fence. And what you want to do is this, you pinch up the top, like so. You take that off. There's a couple of them that's climbing out on top already that reaches height. So I'm going to pinch this. There you go. And I'm going to pull this down and then train it to go across as well. So what is done is that you stop the energy to produce the vine from keep going up and you're going to force it out to shoot it out another vine right here. This thing will shoot out a vine to go across. So all this node right here will shoot out a vine going across. And that will increase your beans production because the flower is put out on this section right here as well for all the new vines that's coming out. Yeah, so here's another example of the bean that's putting out side shoot right here. You can saw call it a sucker or side shoot like the tomato plants. So usually tomato plant you would cut this off right but to get more robust big fruit. But with beans you want to let all this side sucker run out across so you can get more beans. This one down here as well putting out a side shoot. So let me show you an example if we pan over here to this massive bean wall over here. So this bean section is that I pinch up a couple of them and they are some producing and shooting out horizontal vine right here. So we go down here, right? You can see this is the main vine right here. And then you have a horizontal vine that shoot out across right here into here and it attaches itself to here. So the vine that's sent go horizontally, right? It shoot out more flowers right here, which in result more beans. Right here, you see there as well. So that's tip number one, right? So tip number two is that once your beans start to produce beans already, like this here, you have to go out there and harvest it. You gotta pick it. The reason you want to pick it is that you want the beans, the plants, to continue to produce and shooting out flowers. If you leave the beans on the vine, it will concentrate all its energy on all these mature beans right here to produce and mature out the actual bean pot inside the pot right here. So if your pot is getting big and lumpy, then that means your plant is about to like end the cycle of life because that's the whole purpose of the plant. It's trying to reproduce and set seeds and it die off. So every day, once your beans, you notice your beans to start producing little baby beans like this, you gotta keep an eye on it. And you gotta go out and pick all these beans right here. And that will keep the beans, the plant, continue to produce more for you. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. That is how you double your production of harvest of your beans, especially on the pole beans. So if you guys enjoyed this video and find the content is helpful, please hit the like and the subscribe button. I'm gonna go harvest some beans. See you guys next time.